Hello. And welcome to the greatest show on television. We have Michael Vick here with us today. I'm by far your biggest fan, Mike. Oh, thank you. And, who are you? Oh. You're so funny. My name is Keith Stone. Keith Stone? You're so smooth. Always. So tell me, Michael. Why are you here? I'm here to talk about seatbelt laws in Alaska and how they are not what people think they are. Whoa. As a volunteer sheriff's deputy on the weekends I will have to say that seatbelts save lives. Why are you against seatbelts? Do you not wear a seatbelt? No. I always wear a seatbelt. They have proven that wearing a seatbelt is a safer way to drive. Then why are you against the law? Wearing a seatbelt does not affect the safety of other drivers. All it does is protect yourself. Exactly. Those seatbelt laws up in the great state of Alaska save seven lives every year on average. Are you saying that those lives do not matter? Of course not. Any life lost on the road is a tragedy. I cannot seem to grasp what you are saying. Well, why do you think we have a seatbelt law? Because our government cares about us. They are trying to protect us. Wrong answer. What? What do you mean? The law saves lives. It obviously was meant to save people. Right? So you think that if the government can save people, that they should step into our lives and save us? Yes, of course. Okay. Fair enough. Let me ask you a question now. Yes. If the government could make a law that saved over 400,000 people every year in America, would you be for this law? Why yes. Of course. Who wouldn't? Well, I would not. What? What kind of person are you? Hear me out Mr. Stone. Do you smoke? Why yes. I do actually. But what does me smoking have to do with saving a life and the seatbelt law? Well Mr. Stone. 400,000 people die every year from smoking cigarettes. Should we outlaw that as well? Up. Uh, up. Uh, well. No. That is ridiculous. That is completely different. Is it? How is it different? Well. As Americans we are given the ability to choose if we want to harm ourselves. It's our life. I risk my life every day when I play football, hop on my snow machine, go swimming and when I drive my truck. Should the government stop chasing down those real criminals that rape, steal and murder, or should they come tell me to not endanger myself? Since you are for the seatbelt law then you don't think that it's a waste of time for cops to spend 20 minutes issuing a seatbelt ticket, right? Um, well... Or do you think it might be a better use of time for the police to be catching real criminals? Last year there were 22 murders and 512 known cases of rape. You must agree that no amount of seatbelt tickets is worth an innocent life. Right? Uh, well, yes. I... I agree. You are correct. Hell yeah. I hate you. And that's our show. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time when Michael Vick demonstrates how to train your dog.